My name is Jeremy Rosiska, and I'm from actually in Gloucester, Virginia. This is a 2007 Dodge Power Wagon. So this is the last year of the third gen with the 5.7 Hemi before they went to the fourth gen body. Everything is stock power wagon except for the common problem areas like ball joints and, and such. Beyond that, everything, all the magic happens on the back of the trunk. So we installed an AT Habitat camper. We'd followed AT on, on Instagram for a while and all of a sudden their Habitat came up and I was like, you know, that we could do that. We could, we could build that. But tried to keep it as much pickup truck as possible. When I say we, I'm referring to myself, my wife, and my children. And we go by Family Adventures Overlanding on the internet and on Instagram. And we basically chronicalize our, our adventures as we travel on Instagram, through social media. Um, share them through stories and, and different media posts. So on the front of the vehicle, it's stock Dodge Power Wagon, except for two Baja Designs ditch lights. We've changed the steel winch cable out to Master Pole Synthetic and cleaned the drums and that up. Here's the other camera I was referring to. So that's got night vision on it as well, just like the rear. And then right here I have an air chuck. And what's special about this air chuck is that this truck isn't equipped with your standard ARB air compressor. It actually has a York 210 belt driven air compressor. So this is completely engine driven now. It looks like a daunting vehicle because of how large it is, but it truly is a stock power wagon. It gets its stance from the 35 inch tall tires and then of course the camper top sitting higher. But other than that, it's, it's a Dodge pickup truck. It, it drives just like a Dodge pickup truck. You can run this thing 80, 90 miles an hour down the interstate and you'd never even know. The interior of this truck is pretty Spartan. Really the only thing that we've changed in here is we've got a rear view camera and then we also have a matching camera that's on the front bumper. We have a iPad Pro that we use for navigation, just some cell phone docks, WeBoost, and um, an AEV switch group down here that basically controls some ditch lights and the air compressor under the hood. So in the back of the truck, it's a pretty basic build. It's about a sheet worth of uh, Baltic birch plywood and then some one by eights to make some lids. The floor is a, a bed slide. The fridge is mounted to that. So it's the whole floor is the fridge slide in the truck. It allows us access to all of our gear. Right in this corner over here is where our diesel heater is located. And then this tank right here is actually full of kerosene for the diesel heater. Because the truck is gasoline, we were gonna put a gas heater in it and we found really bad reviews on it. So we ended up buying a diesel heater. Um, so it's an S-Bar D4L diesel heater, and it puts out about 16,000 BTUs, which is way more than this truck needs. But man, we can stay toasty warm when it's even below zero. The water tank in here, it's a 10-gallon water tank that is a front-runner floorboard tank for a forerunner that we bought at a flea market for like $30. So everything's kind of kind of been like a bits and pieces, but it all kind of came together. And I'd say to be where she's at right now, it's probably been over the course of a year. So on the inside walls, we have this L-Track mounted down both sides, and it's actually sandwiching the composite material of the camper because there's the identical rails on the exterior. So we are able to mount propane tanks and boxes on the exterior while being able to stow all of our gear and lash it to the sides in here. And over on the passenger side of the truck here behind the fridge, we actually have one bag a piece and each one of those bags is our clothing. We can fit about four, four to five days worth of clothes, fire extinguisher, first aid kit. So it keeps all of our gear up and out off to the side just in case this does get wet in here. None of our clothes or none of our important gear gets wet and we still have the ability to pull this bed slide in and out and access the fridge because we are avid outdoors people. We like to be able to throw our gear inside not worry about getting cushions and everything dirty. So it is still a pickup truck, but has, in my opinion, the ultimate family camper build in mind, because wherever this truck can go, we can set up camp and we can enjoy the outdoors.